Police say animal hoarders are becoming a growing problem in Sand Springs. Officers are dealing with two cases in which dozens of animals had to be confiscated. All new at 10, 2 News reporter Casey Roebuck looks at what the future holds for the animals. It has been very busy here at the Sand Springs shelter. This is one of 35 cats that was taken from a home yesterday. Now, 12 have already been adopted today, but as you can see, there's still a lot of cats that need good homes. In this situation, you have people that had ultimately good intent and the situations got away from them. And so sometimes we have to uh, help people. We have to save people from themselves. Assistant Police Chief Mike Carter calls these cats unintended victims of an animal hoarder. They were taken from the home of a Sand Springs woman on Tuesday. Carter says while these animals seem healthy, the condition of the home is unsanitary for animals and people. The Humane Society says, just like with this case, animal hoarders often start out with just a handful of strays. People can get over their head very easily. Um, you can start off with just one or two animals, and if you don't spay or neuter them, they can lead to having hundreds of them. While Carter doesn't anticipate criminal charges in Tuesday's case, it's a different story for the residents of this home that's been deemed uninhabitable by the city. In February, emergency crews responded to a medical call here where Karen Wofford and Brenda Hall were caring for an elderly woman. Carter says crews were shocked at the state of the home. You see uh, animal feces, uh, urine-soaked carpet. Um, the animals uh, can get to the point of being uh, malnourished. Firefighters called the authorities, and on March 3rd, Animal Control took 37 animals from the house. On Monday, Wofford and Hall were arrested on felony caretaker abuse charges. The city hopes the animals they've removed from these conditions will find a better life in new homes. Now, if you're interested in adopting this little girl or any of the cats here at the shelter, stop by the shelter during regular business hours or give them a call at 246-2543. Reporting from Sand Springs, Casey Roebuck, 2 News works for you. Now, it is against the law for citizens of Sand Springs to own more than three cats or dogs. Tonight.